Well, y'all, we're down to the final hours for the Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. But what is up with Bernard Hopkins, man? Dude got some suspect ways. Something is quite weird with Bernard Hopkins, man. In the history of boxing, I've never seen it where a promoter, because I'm assuming he's promoting with Oscar De La Hoya, I've never seen a promoter go up to a boxer when they're having a face-off. Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis was having a face-off. You can see Bernard Hopkins creeping in the crowd. He's like a serpent, man. He was creeping in the crowd like a snake. And then he goes up and ease his hands around Javante's waist and pull him towards him. What was up with that? The man is in, in the midst of a face-off. And Bernard Hopkins going to put his hands around that young boy's waist. That is some suspect stuff, man. What kind of message was he trying to send to Tank Davis? I'm going to let you watch that video. And you guys tell me what you think. Another thing, too, I also believe that they're protecting Ryan Garcia. Because if you notice, that big dude was standing in, in the midst of them. The first face-off they had, the dude was in between the two of them. That wasn't really a real face-off because they looking around this dude, and he's standing in the way. So why are they protecting Ryan Garcia? And I think they're protecting him because they know that he can get hurt with Tank. And I'm telling you, this fight is going to be weird. It's going to be a weird fight. Now, I'd be surprised if, you know, Tank just go in there and do his business without any interference. But there might be some interference because they are protecting Ryan Garcia. But I'm going to let you watch this video and you guys, you tell me what you think. Tell me if that's not quite weird to you. Check it out. And then he had the nerve to point and say, you got to fight him. So if you know he's got to fight Ryan Garcia, why are you interfering with their face off? Why are you putting your hands around that boy's waist? What's up with that? I'm going to let you guys watch that again. But now Hopkins is a snake. And watch when they start, when the commotion happens, watch how he turn around. Just look at him. He looks just like a snake. Bernard Hopkins is a snake. There's something about him that's weird to me. Check it out. Don't 
But I, Bernard Hopkins is a devil, man. That's a demon. You see how he snuck through that crowd like a snake, and then when comm commotion start happening, you see his head doing one of these numbers, right? But one thing I say about Ryan Garcia, though, I'm hoping to see him knocked out. I want him to be knocked out. Tank need to punish him and then knock him out because he's got a mouth on him. He talks too much smack, man. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of like respect his his confidence. You know, he's got heart, you know. Um, I think he's got heart in an ignorant type way because I don't think he really understands the danger that could come from fighting Tank, okay? And he allow people on his side and his fans to pump him up and to make him think that he's more than what he really is. Now, I would be surprised if he fight a good fight, but I think Tank is going to destroy him, right? But what do you guys think of Bernard Hopkins, man? I think he's a snake. Dude's a snake, man. There's just something about Bernard Hopkins that's weird to me, man. He's creepy, you know? And why would he, as a promoter, go up and put his hands around Tank's waist and pull him towards him? And then when the commotion started, he's going to, like, bob his way out of there. He's a demon. That's what I